get a load of the body, get a load of the cut, the curl, the color. Everything about this one is super, super fire. I am headed out to Acro with my girls. It is Friday night, so we're going to go ahead and do Acro, and then hopefully we can get some grub. I wanted to do my hair nice and fresh because I've been looking crazy in the house, working and being a mom all week, and I finally get to, you know, turn up a little bit and look cute. So this was my look of choice, and she does come courtesy of Arabella Hair. Again, I'm obsessed with the cut. Like, I mean, it would have been cute if it was just a regular curly bob. But the cut is everything. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. There is a direct link in the description box. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, ladies, let's get right into it. So today we are working with our Bella Hair. And they sent over this beautiful, curly, short wig. I believe this one is 12 inches in length. And I love the fact that it has the highlights. It's wavy, so it's going to be very, very, very easy to style and maintain. The cap just seems nice and like fun size it seems like the perfect cap to wear glueless and then of course it comes as a center part but let's see what's working with or what we are working with as far as the parting goes yeah so this is a free part wig which means like they kind of helped us out and set it as a side or a middle part but you can for sure go in and you know do your side parts a curved part you can just like make ponytails or twisties or braids or you know you can do whatever you want you have the freedom hence the word free part and then i also love the dark root because of course that's just going to make it easier to you know look expensive instead of looking cheap so another thing i like about this one is the cap these caps are reminiscent of when we used to make our own wigs before you know the innovation of today and it's just like a very 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 you know like soft cap and you can definitely slow your combs in um, if you want them. But when a wig fits correctly, you don't necessarily need them. And this is what she looks like on. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that with this one, it has like a little bit of an asymmetrical cut to her. It's a little bit shorter in the back. You have a little bit of length in the front so this is gonna look cute once we go ahead and slay it here is a look at the hairline I believe that because this one is curly and we're gonna wear it as a center part um, it will do fine to not really tweeze it out but you definitely have that option yes baby when I'm done putting this wig on my head I'm gonna get you dressed okay so I gotta do your hair so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wig back and yes you guessed it it is Friday so we've got dance today but luckily, I did go ahead and do some cleaning, but I am not in a rush. I have like two hours before I have to get the kids out. Normally, I'm doing my hair when I have like 15 minutes to leave. So we are on cute today. So I just went ahead and cut off the excess lace. And you guys can see I did leave some lace. You can leave more or you can leave less. It's always your option. But, you know, I'll see if I want to cut off more later. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Forgive me if I am breathing hard. I am recovering from a long week of my kids go to school and they have germs or bring home germs. Rather, they don't have germs, but they bring in y'all kids cooties back. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, so now we can bond her down. And I will show you guys that this one does fit pretty snug. So you guys already know how I always tell you guys. I'm a mom. I'm always in and out. Even if I wasn't a mom or before I was a mom, I was a corporate America babe. And I just didn't do the whole, like, wake up extra early to, like, do my hair. It has to be able to slap on and go. And kind of, like, whatever thing I can do in the commute to the car is what we're going to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and style her. Trying to decide what products we're going to use today. I'm in the mood for something creamy. So I'm thinking of going with the Mayel. Um, you guys already know everybody was into the, the Rosemary Mint line. I have a hair mask from them that I haven't been using. So I think I'm going to use it on this hair. But before we put that on, I'm going to go ahead and bond it down. And again, this one does fit nice and snug. So you'll be able to bond it down. And then throughout the day, or no, like throughout the week, you'll be able to just put it on. And it'll kind of like almost like rebond down. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we're bonded down, I think we're gonna go ahead and start on the ends. Something I like to do is take care of the hairline. But you guys already know, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Should we add baby hair or no? I kind of want to, I feel like the lace will look even more melted. So I'm gonna just do the two swoops, one above each arch of the eyebrow. And you can see how beautifully this one is pre-plucked, but of course you can go in and, you know, do your own thing. I'm going to leave it like this and then pull the hairs back. And we're going to just swoop some really cute baby hairs. Maybe you only want what you can't have. Never seem to be satisfied till it all goes. Alright, let me finish this tutorial and I'll call you right back, okay? Well, I'll see you in a minute. Love you. Bye. Best you ever had. It's not fair to me or my heart. I was forced to start over when we fell apart. Could have had it all, but you pushed me right into his arms. Added the baby hair it does look a little bit white and crazy but have no fear we do have to tint the lace i can do it now but i find that when the hair is completely dry um and like there's no wet product on it it works it looks better it melts better so i'm gonna go ahead and melt it and it's not wet like you guys already know i bonded it down but we have that edge control that i just used and so like if i put the um lace tint on top of that you know it'll just look a little bit more cakey something that i do prefer to do is to detangle the hair first and just pull the curls out from um packaging and just see you know see about the hair you want to see does it tangle does it shed of course because this is the first time the hair is being worn you are expected to um like in that initial comb out to get a little bit of shedding possibly even like having it like tangle a little bit somewhere and it looks like it is good to go now you can see a really really good look at the color pay off on this one it's really nice and professionally done but of course we definitely don't want to wear it like this so i think i'm going to keep it simple today and just go with an oldie but goodie this one is the cantu curl cream this is the actually the leave-in not the curl cream i think this one is Similar, but it's like a thinner consistency than a curl cream. I think I'm going to, should I wet it down with water or mousse? Let's just wet it down with some good old water. And if we want to add mousse, we will. But for now, this is going to be today's curl combo. So I went ahead and added the curl cream to it. I am comfortable with the way everything looks. It just has to dry and get big. But I love the way the curls are defined. So let's go ahead and tint the lace. And then we might blow dry it out to kind of like bring back the fullness. And my daughter is calling me. But there is a space between us. I know healing ain't in Lifetimes are going like years away. More it will grow the more we delay. I'm just hoping it isn't too late. What can I do? Sorry if it's a little cliche. I know we're supposed to live in a gray. Leave it to chance or leave it to fate. But I'm missing you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it's starting to dry up a little bit. But of course, I really don't want to go out with the wet look, especially because it's fall. So I don't think the wet look necessarily. I mean, if your hair is wet, it goes year round regardless. But 
for styling purpose, I think we should go ahead and bring the dry look back. Not the dry look, but you guys know what I'm saying. Not the non-wet look. And I don't have a diffuser at the moment, so let's just go ahead and use this concentrate nozzle to go ahead and just bring back the fluff. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's about 80 to 90%, about 90% dry. She's gorgeous. Now, I do like a little bit of frizz with my ting. So you guys seen at the end, I kind of went crazy with the blow dryer. And that kind of just like makes it a little bit more frizzy. I don't know why, but I like that look. The most important thing to me is that the curls in the front are defined. This one did come from Arabella Hair. And this is going to be my hair for the weekend. Um, it is now 4 10 i gotta start getting the girls ready about 4 30 so we can leave about 4 45 because it is acrobats how do you say it? acro day acrobatics so inside of our packaging and this is the packaging you get a beautiful little dust bag you do get this little um mini ziploc bag and inside it's like a care kit you guys see how beautifully the wig cap is constructed it's soft it's soft it's nice it's flexible but it um it's really, really, really snug. And so I like that because with that, you don't need the elastic band or the combs. But they did provide them for those of us who are going to complain. It doesn't come with combs. It doesn't come with elastic bands. There is a notch like here in here um, to attach an elastic band. And they definitely provide that. Also, I showed you guys the nape and it did not have the comb. So you do get, it looks like two combs here. So you can apply one back here or, you know, two in the front or whatever you like and then of course a piece of um what is this called super tape true tape you guys know i'm a glueless girl but you know maybe one day i'll get adventurous and try that out and then they also included this little care package and inside it's just the usual suspects you have your hd wig caps which are premium quality of course you also have a edge brush a melt belt a pair of lashes and then you have this beautiful, really cute um, pearl clip. And you can, you know, do that. Or you can put your hair in a bun or do different styles and use this clip. Super fashionable. Okay, ladies, we are officially done with this look. Of course, I have a direct link as well as all details in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!